is the Nipsey Hussle fan base truly the Nipsey Hussle fan base? Because a lot of the fans that are Nipsey Hussle fans now was after he died. After he died, yeah. So is it really a true fan base? <laughs> I mean, the fan base was there already, but I feel like it was a hype beast bandwagon fan base that came after he died. I, I don't know. So look, so for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> for me, right? I. I I was not a big fan of the C Hustle like before I wasn't before he died. But then again, I haven't listened to a lot of his music. I, my favorite song from him is uh, Crenshaw and Slauson, uh, and that whole the the, the mix that was on that song was on. But mm-hmm. prior to that, like I heard that after he died, I wasn't. Yeah. Damn, were you until he died? I didn't not, hear not the whole, not that the full, that not all the albums, not all that. Not, I heard that yeah, album. He but, dropped several projects after that one. Yeah, but I'm saying, like for me personally, yeah. when it comes yeah. when it comes to the West Coast, I was more so my favorite artist out of the West Coast is Kendrick Lamar. That's mm-hmm. my favorite artist coming before him is Tupac. Mm-hmm. So West Coast wise, like, but now I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Nipsey. Mm-hmm. Like I rock with Nipsey. That's Nipsey crazy. Moment. Like how you a West Coast fan, but you still never heard of him. No, I, I'm saying oh, I'm not heard of at all. No, no, I heard of Nipsey, but oh, as in Nipsey. as in like. I love all his music now, or majority of his albums. I didn't. I didn't like. Yo, let me download his album. Let me download uh-huh. his mixtape. I wasn't on that. Mm-hmm. So, but I know personally, like when, of course, after he died, I'm like, damn, was it really that much Nipsey Hussle fans out there like that, or was it? Because you didn't really hear that many people talking about it. That's what I'm music. saying. So, do you think that the love that Nipsey Nipsey's getting now was it like that prior to yes, he died? Absolutely. Yeah, bro, I would, I would co-sign that. I would say, yeah, I think uh, a lot of people hadn't heard him because I don't want to say he was intentional about not being heard, but he was intentional about, like, staying true to a certain pattern and a certain way he carried out things. So he may not have gotten the look that a lot of other people got, but, um, yeah, bro, rap and hip-hop, to me, a lot of times is based off, like, your... Well, supposedly it was based off like your actual tangible assets like do you got your bread are you a man of respect street credibility yada 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 mm-hmm. he been checked out with all those things like that's something I can say personally like I've seen in real time and I, outside of his peers in the music industry or the street so hell yeah it jumped up it heightened because like we live in a culture that's attracted to death like motherfuckers don't love you until you die unfortunately or show that they love me. So, um, I would say Russ a combination of both. But he, he definitely had a base long before dying. But yeah, no, the base definitely turned up on another level because shit, we living in, I don't even like using this word. I don't use the word, the cloud era. Like, motherfuckers just want to align themselves with something and be like, I was there or get some attention. So, All right. it's a combination of both. That's what I, I, that's what I'm not a fan mm-hmm. of. Like, I just like, like, Whenever the day comes that like, whether it's Andre 3000 or any artist that kind of like not is doing their thing anymore, but then they die, there's gonna be a bunch, a wave of people like, oh man, I'm my favorite artist, blah blah blah. And I really don't think it's really like that. Right. Um, 